Creating the world we know is possible. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 123. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is G. Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 123, August 2nd, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week's core team, which includes the Pioneer and satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 35% of the content for the Outer Space lesson plan to the website. This brings this lesson plan content to 100% complete on the site. Additionally, we wrote the first 35% of the Planet Earth lesson plan behind the scenes. We also created and added the first 50% of the mind map to the Outer Space lesson plan webpage, and you can see that mind map here. And last but not least, we featured the nature lesson plan across our social media channels using this image that Lucas from the graphic design intern team helped us create. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week's core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Chayote hub. We also did this with our open source Wax Gourd hub. In addition to this, we researched and added additional recipes to the open source Ayuko Hub, which you can see here. And more recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of these hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new tasty recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ? We added these recipes to the food self-sufficiency transition plan, and they include banana cashew breakfast parfait, stuffed potatoes with mushroom saute, and sloppy jane. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing finished the Earthbag Village Pod 1 walking paths in 3D, placed new shower buildings, and updated our lower level entrances for the vermiculture toilet buildings and shower buildings. Plus, we updated the roof for the vermiculture toilet building and redid the steps going to this structure. This brings us to 100% complete with this phase of 3D creation, and next are plants for final renders. Behind the scenes, we also completed another 15% of the open source camp setup specifics for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This brings us to 65% percent complete there. Civil engineering interns Hanata and Mateo started modeling the reciprocal roof for the Earthbag Village, used special software for testing the structure of wind load, 
and completed about 70% of those load calculations. Mateos also finished to the 30% point of the LEAD version 4 open source tutorial. Sayonara, member of the architecture and planning intern team, is now 80% complete with section 1 and 35% complete with section 2 of the 3D model for the roof in the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. She also added water features and plants to the model of that village, as you can see here. Sayonara additionally added skylights to the bathrooms of each living unit in Straw Bale Village, providing natural light that maintains privacy. The design also allows for her to add, or allowed for her to add, a loft to half the units. Adolfo and George from the Mechanical Engineering intern team researched existing vermiculture toilet systems and came up with a new non-leaking design for the trays of our vermiculture bathroom designs using a sloped floor. They also modified laundry space area and laundry machines to accommodate changes from other teams. Adolfo and George additionally set up a 3D printed model of the Earthbank Village, which you can see here. Fernando and Amari, additional members of the mechanical engineering intern team, worked on the heat recovery systems for the laundry room. They calculated the amount of copper needed to preheat the air for the dryers and simulated the system to show the variations in temperatures. Velma worked on composting toilet analysis, completing to the 90% point where she also began creating a tutorial of these toilets. Samantha and Flavia from the architecture and planning intern team finished detailed first and second floor plans for the shipping container village pod 5, including furniture and flooring, and started research on color palettes and landscaping. Hakel and Deanna, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, redefined the layout of the dorms for the Earthship village pod 6 to include double units. They also researched fire codes, fire escapes, direct lighting solutions for the bedrooms, ADA solutions, and a hydraulic elevator, and construction materials for the Earthship projects. Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, researched treehouse structures, designs, layouts, materials, and construction, as well as resources for existing guidelines and best practices for building in trees to help design our Treehouse Village Pod 7. Gilberto from the graphic design intern team continued 3D modeling for the Earthbag Village Pod 1, which included cut views so you can see the layers of the bags and the walls, and you can see this here. Gabrielle finished renders for the Murphy bed and started to create a three dome cluster for the Earthbag Village. Anna worked on the transitory kitchen in AutoCAD and adjusted the walls and floor plans and added serving tables, furniture, and appliances. And Carolina continued the service design for the Treehouse Village Pod 7, dividing the village into four main spaces and four subspaces and categorizing them by types of use. She also created these storyboards for videos she will be creating about this village. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Erica, Thais, Pedro, and Victor from the Architecture and Planning Intern team complete 95% of the lighting design for the three domes of Duplical City Center and 85% of the lighting study for the Earthbag Village. This includes the kitchen, bathrooms, and shower domes. They also started developing the lighting design for the second bathroom dome. Mike completed the organization of the intern team's files using a new name format pattern and created a table to control the revisions of all projects. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Antonio, Gabriel, Beatriz, Fernando, Rodrigo, and Marilio, continued structural designs and testing. They updated architecture and structural files, analyzed primary and secondary beams, and created and analyzed structural strategies for the interior of domes. They also studied the structural codes and how to calculate wind loads for the domes. Diogo, Isidora, Joao, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team finished to the 20% mark with the initial pipe sizing calculations for cold potable water for the Duplical City Center. They also consulted the mechanical engineering team on heat transferring piping from the tropical atrium to all showers and sinks for all four community bathrooms in the Earthbag Village. In addition to this, working with and under the guidance of Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, Fabio, Lucas de Souza, Lucas Tetsui de Silva, Guilherme, Enrique, Chago, and Israel of the Electrical Intern Team continued work on the Control Systems for Duplical City Center's electrical project and updated the lighting design as you see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, 
four different economic models and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. This week's work included fixing charts, learning about and creating short codes for common areas of our site that we update, and reviewing and correcting another 30 pages. We'd say we're now about 80% done with this complete website overhaul. Manuela, Manases, Gabrielle, and Eduardo of the Graphic Design Intern Team worked together on the definition, selection, complete design, and presentation of a possible new logo for one community. They added alignment and colors of the second logo design and created a few examples of what it looks like when it is applied to various surfaces. Lucas did research for typesets and color schemes for the logo and also created these additional variations of possible logos. In addition to his contribution on the logo, Eduardo also researched music for a new video one community is working on. These images are stills from the video footage he captured for this project. And finally, for the software development intern team, Igor, Marco, Mateus, and Natalia programmed, tested, and debugged more of the code for the Highest Good Network web application and got a beta version running. Meanwhile, Gustavo reached 80% completion on connecting the API for the iPhone app to the database of the software that the rest of the team created. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community believes the process of creating the world that we know is possible is a process of enrolling enough people in the process itself. To help facilitate this, we are open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary to create sustainable living. Ultimately, these components will be put together as sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs that can be built anywhere in the world that will teach others how to also create sustainable teacher demonstration hubs too. Through this idea, we see ourselves creating the world that we know is possible by creating a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration hubs that help to create additional solution-creating teacher demonstration hubs too. And we're building all this on a foundation of open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources that cover all aspects of highest good society. We call this an evolution of sustainability that includes the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines those with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which are education, high school economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship and fulfilled living practices. Putting these things together to demonstrate an open source free share, a model that we believe that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And so to accomplish all this, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that it's possible, believe that it's a worthwhile and noble venture to do this, and that want to participate, to help create a model that others can participate in and adapt and modify in the way that works best for them. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to participate in, we invite you to join us. We have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the people that will move to the property and help build everything that is one community, to partners and consultants, to just helping and share our information on the internet. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, including Pinterest, Twitter, Sue, Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, Tumblr, and about 15 other social media networks where we share every single week to keep people up to date on what it is that we're doing, but also so that people can connect with us in the way that works best for them. Also, if you'd like to help, the number one thing that would help one community right now in creating this world that we know is possible is large-scale funding. Our entire team is a group of nonprofit, unpaid, all volunteer uh, members that are creating this because we know that it's the next step and it could be the next huge chapter in the human story. But we still need large scale funding to bring it to the next level. The property that we've been working with for four and a half years now is still on the market, but we don't own it and we can't disclose the location until we have the funding necessary or the investment either a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or an investment in one community to help us get that property off the market so we can take our whole open source and creative process to the next level. So if you're somebody who knows somebody or if you're somebody with the resources, we'd love to speak with you. Also, as always, I'd like to say thank you for everybody that's making the small donations, the small contributions to one community because those little donations help pay for our web fees, our template, mostly internet fees, our nonprofit organizational expenses, things like that to help keep our organization running. 
creating the world that we know is possible is possible if we build that bridge between pragmatism and idealism, and this is what one community is all about. This is what we're doing. Every single week when we report on our progress in all the different categories, we're moving towards not just building that bridge between pragmatism and idealism, but open sourcing that bridge so that others can build their own versions of that bridge, their own creative ways of doing the same thing, and adapt it and modify it, add their ideas and their genius to the global cooperative, the global collaborative, the global suite of options that people will have for building and living sustainably and sharing the experience of living sustainably. So as always, thank you for following our progress. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like to get these weekly updates or send us an email to One Community Updates and we'll, send, we'll add you to our email newsletter list. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you for following our progress.